Crystal Lore Legends and Myth Myths by Athena Purgis. Yeah, okay. I just filmed the other book by her, so I'm like, whatever. The Fascinating History of the World's Most Powerful Gem Gems and Stones. So you get an introduction, chapters one to eight, and it tells you what's gonna be in each chapter under underneath them. Conclusion and some notes. And so you get this kind of setup. So it tells you what stone is in each chapter. And so, and then it does go through like a chapter of like the months. And then, but yeah, it just basically, this is the chapter, Crystals of inter Interdimensional Awareness, and then I'll list the stone and you got a page. Oh, if you like, oh, I like this gemstone and you can go straight to that page. And then you kind of get like this map type thing as well, so like different areas. Because it does go through crystals of uh, of Atlantis and Luminera, crystals of Egypt and Mesopotamia. So you do have like this map and like a circle surrounding that certain place. So this one would be Atlantis. So you kind of get like an old school type of map. And it doesn't separate, it just has an outline of the land mass, not, it doesn't separate like countries or whatever. And I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> so, you get an uh, introduction like to the certain area. So this one's talking about um, Atlantis and Luminera live in the realm of legend rather than history. We have little proof of their existence beyond the famed knuckle tablets and vast networks of mysteriously etched crystals. Many claim that they contain the encoded wisdom of these rumored civilizations. So you get that kind of information and then you do get some more. There's the map again. So you do get a variety of information about those locations or that location and then and then it goes into crystal and like properties and place of origin and then this is the basic setup for each crystal you get a page or so of information and some sort of image like that of the crystal and then you do kind of get also a brief kind of summary on like a page there. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to kind of like connect your crystals to a different place or whatever, or like, Crystals of India, Manoa, Greece, and Rome. So it does go to a, a few different places, two different, a few different, like two or three different areas of speaking. So um, you got, if you want, if you kind of like that setup or whatever, <laughs> this is something, if you want to know kind of like lore legend kind of aspect of a crystal, this doesn't give, uh, one of one of those three things about every single crystal or stone out there, but it just gives you here's a handful of ones and here's the attachment to Atlantis, India, wherever. So you get information and history, and then you don't get that type of say like the Jody Hill books, not Jody Hill Hall, Jody Hall books, like her encyclopedia. Of crystals or her crystal Bibles, you don't get that kind of setup. 
it's or like the hardiness or color etc that you would see like in the beginning of their section like a table here's a table or graph or whatever of information and then some other information you don't get that set up so you get a little bit of what it can be used for but it's more on that information and the history that lore myth of it so you get again you get the zodiac signs and like different places and areas and you are looking a little under 200 pages so it's not an in-depth type of book it's more to me more of an introduction to these types of um stories so yeah crystal crystal lore legends and myths happy readings